Today, we're going to learn how to tell time to the hour. It is important to be able to tell time so that you are not late. Before we start looking at clocks, we need to review. Time is a measure of how long something will take to finish. For example, most movies take about 1 hour and 30 minutes. We use time to tell when we need to be somewhere or to know when something is going to happen. Time is made up of hours. Time is also made up of minutes. Now that we have reviewed the parts of time, you are ready to learn how to tell time to the hour. This is an analog clock. An analog clock has many features that help us tell time. This is the shorthand. The shorthand on a clock tells the hour. The shorthand on the clock is pointing to the number 3. This clock says the hour is 3. This is the long hand. The long hand on the clock tells the minutes. The long hand is pointing to the 12. On an analog clock, the 12 means 0 minutes. Another way to say zero minutes is o'clock. When the long hand points to the 12, you say o'clock. To tell time, you put the hour and the minutes together. This clock says three o'clock. The short hand pointed to the hour, so we put the three in front to say the hour. The long hand pointed to the 12 for the minutes, so we put 00, zero in back to say there are zero minutes. This is how the time appears on a digital clock. This is how you write the time. The two dots in the middle of the time are called a colon. The hour goes first. The hour is in front of the colon. The minutes go last. The minutes are behind the colon. When the minutes are zero, zero, we say o'clock. This clock says three o'clock. This analog clock also says three o'clock. Both of these say three o'clock. Now that you have learned how to tell time on an analog clock, let's practice. What time is it? This clock says one o'clock. The short hand points to the one. When the short hand points to the one, the hour is one. The long hand points to the twelve. When the long hand points to the twelve, the minutes are zero zero. When the long hand points to the twelve, you say o'clock. This clock says one o'clock. What time is it? This clock says nine o'clock. The short hand points to the nine. The hour is nine. The long hand points to the twelve. The minutes are zero zero and you say o'clock. This clock says nine o'clock. What time is it? This clock says six o'clock. The short hand points to the six. The hour is six. The long hand points to the twelve. The minutes are zero zero and you say o'clock. This clock says six o'clock. What time is it? This clock says 12 o'clock. On this clock, both the short hand and the long hand point to the 12. The short hand points to the 12. The hour is 12. The long hand points to the 12. The minutes are 00, zero and you say o'clock. On this clock, both the short hand and the long hand point to the 12. This clock says 12 o'clock. 
What time is it? This clock says four o'clock. The shorthand points to the four. The hour is four. The long hand points to the twelve. The minutes are zero zero, and you say o'clock. This clock says four o'clock. Before we finish, let's review how to tell time to the hour. The short hand on a clock tells the hour. The long hand on the clock tells the minutes. On an analog clock, the twelve means zero minutes. To tell time, you put the hour and the minutes together. This is how the time appears on a digital clock. This is how you write the time. The hour goes first. The hour is in front of the colon. The minutes go last. The minutes are behind the colon. When the minutes are zero zero, we say o'clock. Both of these clocks say ten o'clock. Now that you have learned how to tell time to the hour, you are ready to practice. Thank you for learning with me today. Have fun practicing telling time.